Are you looking for the best docking stations? In this video we will look at some of the 4 best docking stations on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Satchi Dual Dock Stand The Satchi Dual Dock Stand is different from all the other docks we tested in two respects. It doesn't require a power source and it goes beneath your MacBook instead of beside it. You could almost classify it as a hub, but I think the high number of ports earns it docking station status. It also gets around the single monitor limitation some Macs present by plugging into two USB-C ports at once. That means if you have a MacBook with a standard M2 chip, the 13-inch MacBook Pro or either size MacBook Air, you'll be able to plug two external monitors into the back of the dock and enjoy an extended view, instead of just a mirrored third display. Since the dual dock works without power, it's a lot easier to set up than other docks with transformer boxes and DC cables. I found it made the most sense to just use the MagSafe connector on the laptop, but you can also supply power to the dock using the non-data USB-C port and it will pass 75 watts to your machine. Both the 4K and HD monitors I tested looked great and worked well in extended mode. There are two USB-Cs for a webcam and mic, plus two usb as which could be used for a dongle mouse and a streaming light. That's likely enough ports for conferencing or even a basic video creator setup. The dock is ultimately limited by the fact that none of the USB-C connections are Thunderbolt and there are only two USB-A sockets to work with. But it's a great choice for extending productivity in a way that tucks beneath a MacBook, neatly moving the cords to the back of the machine and out of the way. Number 2. Kensington AD 2010 T4 Thunderbolt 4 Docking Station for those who want the extra speed and connectivity of the latest Thunderbolt interface, I recommend Kensington's AD 2010 T4 Thunderbolt 4 Dual 4K Docking Station. Of all the TB4 docking stations tested, the AD 2010 is the only one under $300. Yet it performed on par with and even offered a better selection of ports than some of the others I tested. It gives you two Thunderbolt 4 connections, one for the host and one for accessories, plus an additional 3.2 USB-C. Dual HDMI 2.0 sockets can handle two external screens with up to 4K resolution at 60 Hz. But if you need three additional monitors or have an 8K screen, you can tap into the Thunderbolt port. There's a total of four USB as, which is enough for a wired mouse or keyboard and a couple other peripherals. It has an SD and a microSD card slot, a 3.5mm audio combo jack and an Ethernet jack. There are even two Kensington lock slots that let you physically secure your dock with a cable. The device itself has a solid feel and an attractive metal design. My only gripe is with the lay flat orientation and that nearly half of the ports are on the front edge. I think upright docks that keep most connections around back have an overall neater look on the desk. However, I should point out that Kensington sells mounts for its docks which could help with aesthetics. Number 3. Caldigit TS4 Thunderbolt 4 Dock There's a lot to appreciate about Caldigit's TS4 docking station. It is a sturdy, upright design with a host connection at the rear and a whopping 5 downstream USB-C port, two of which are Thunderbolt 4. Up front, you get an SD and a microSD card slot along with a headphone jack two USB-C and a USB-A connector. In back, there's room for four more USB-A devices and two 3.5mm jacks, one for audio in and one for audio out. One area where the dock may feel lacking is in display inputs. It only has one display port 1.4, but it has plenty of TB4 port, which you can easily use to outfit a full command center. If you don't have a USB-C monitor, there are plenty of adapters. The multi-gig Ethernet jack can handle up to 2.5 Gbps, so if you're paying for a screaming fast internet plan, this dock can help you take advantage of it. The TS4 can deliver up to 98 watts of power to your laptop, though like any docking station, 
the wattage goes down when other items are also drawing power. The TS4 worked equally well with my MacBook Pro and the Dell XPS 13 Plus and was even compatible with a Chromebook. I tested read, write speeds on a Samsung T7 SSD via a Thunderbolt port and got 734 megabytes per second read and 655 megabytes per second write speeds on the Mac and 1048 994 on the Dell. Compared to the other docks, that was in the lower middle range for the Mac and the fastest overall for the PC. On PC, it also handled a 1GB folder transfer to a flash drive faster than any other dock and delivered the fastest connection speeds over the Ethernet. It's the only unit that let me plug in every single peripheral I have one hand at once. If you've got lots of tech you want to use simultaneously, and money isn't a concern, this is the one to get. Number 4. Kensington SD4780P Thunderbolt Docking Station The Kensington SD4780P Dual 4K typically requires a display link driver, but any Chromebook made after 2017 supports the connection from the jump. Finding a docking station that works with Chrome OS is tough, of the 12 units I tested. Only four connected at all with the Acer Chromebook Spin 514, and one of those four couldn't run two monitors. The SD4780P uses a USB-C host connection, through which it offers a maximum power delivery of 100 watts and was able to run both the 4K and HD screens cleanly. It allows for a wide range of USB-A peripherals through five such ports, but there's only a single downstream USB-C, so I wasn't able to use both a webcam and mic at the same time. That means you'll need to use your Chromebook's built-in ports if you want more than one of those types of devices set up. The plastic build makes it look a little cheap and I'm not crazy about the lay-flat design, but the host port is in the back which will make your setup neater. If all you're looking for is a way to get a few extra monitors and use your wired USB accessories, this is a good pick for Chromebooks.